Monkey News. Do the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. What what we're doing here is, right, is uh just giving you a bit of bit of monkey news that's that's gone on, right? Where a monkey's been involved in it. Good little story in that. Yeah. Uh are you familiar with the one that went into space? The first uh, the first sort of thing they ever sent up there before man did it and all that. You see, this is what annoys me with it really. Armstrong gets all the all the glory, but do you know who went up there before before him? A monkey. Yeah. And what happened is they taught it um what buttons to hit at the time that like, it needed to hit them and and the way they did this was like give it bananas it was like hit the red button and it hit the red button they'd give it a banana right and they go right reverse is the green one hit the green one and then they do that and go there's a banana and then they go right hit reverse and it go and get a banana right. hit the red so it was taking commands on like headphones right but how are they giving is that it the how banana? you learn to do radio <laughs> how are they giving it the banana what do you mean no, Whoa. this is before it went. You, do, you oh, wouldn't right. just go and put a monkey in it and go, there you go, get on with it. They'd sort of put him in one of them capsules that you get. Yeah. And they were th on headphones. I, I don't believe this happened. Well, I'm telling you the story now. So the monkey. I don't sat... think they trained it to do anything. I think they sent it up there and he put electrodes coming out of it to no, see what... what uh, it wasn't it's... any of that. They did a thing like they do. Like, right. like they can with animals. If you give something, uh, you know, like a treat, you can teach it how to do it. It's just like a dog, isn't it? When it's you... called Pavlovian conditioning. However... That was to see if it would salivate or go over to you know, a particular it, corner, yeah. not if it could control a spacecraft. Next one up. It's the next one up. It, as far as the, the monkey's not sat there going, oh, I'm a bit under pressure here, it's a rocket. All that's knowing is I'm getting a banana if he hit that button. That's all the monkey's thinking about. Right? <laughs> they wouldn't, but billions well, of space but dollars. But how can they be sure that it's going to press the button at the right moment? Because it's got headphones on. <laughs> It's not like willy nilly. It's not just like pop it in there. Willy nilly, that. What's to stop it from just hitting it any old time? Because it's a monkey and it's, it's not a human. Because he's trained now. But oh, anyway, he's trained. So he's listen, fully trained. Yeah. Go so on. what happened is anyway. Oh, this is absolute rubbish. They pop the monkey in there. Yeah. It's got his headphones on. They're going right. Hit the green one, and uh, I think there's something there that a little banana comes out to keep the same. <laughs> no, you're making this up. I'm not. It's the same. There's no way that they made uh, a, right, a so, spacecraft so can, that had a banana dispenser. <laughs> right, there's so, no way in this world that they made a spacecraft that could go into outer mm, space, right? So what? So manned you're, so by you're, a monkey mm, with a banana dispenser. So you're saying that it's easy to send something up to space, but you don't believe there's a little banana machine. Right, okay, so, so it comes to the launch day, monkeys monkeys sat in there, uh, everyone's ready, bananas are stocked up and all the rest of it. They go, right, hit the green button. Right, and the rocket goes off and what have you. No, they would not make the monkey launch the rocket. Carl, so, you are you are living in a, a so, cartoon world. So the rocket goes off, right? <laughs> this is absolute bollocks! It's all going well. You are, you, I mean, I don't know it's what you're going to... It's, it's not going well. It's going There's well. no way a monkey launched it's a going. rocket. There is no way a monkey launched a rocket, so you idiot. it's all going on, so they're going, hit the left button, and, it's, and it goes a little the bit left. left button? Right, oh, so. well-known spacecraft command. This is Houston. Hit the left button. Oh, brilliant. This is what happened in Bio 13. Hit the left button. So it, you it, are, oh, it you goes are. left. Yeah, it goes left. So it goes left, and it's, it's going away. Left! It goes yeah. left! Yeah. No, the moon! So You're going goes, right! It goes, it goes for the moon, Everything, everything's going well. Right. Uh, they get up there, it does whatever it does. It reverse, it comes back. <laughs> So then you are so, honestly you are brain dead. So it's you long, are one of the most stupid people that I would rather have mm, the monkey drive right, listen, me home than you. So the thing is so it lands back. Yeah. It does a good job and everything. It gets out. Um and this it's is sick this of is bananas. this is where this is where it turns a bit sad because after it's done that mission, yeah. right? Because <laughs> it happened and it, and it was all safe and everything. The next one would have been to send man. Right. So the monkey enjoyed it, and it was like, well, I want to do it again, right? But they were like... So how did they know that? How did they know just, he wanted to do it? Just the way it looked and what have you, it was like... <laughs> Fuck off! Just the way it looked! So, you are a maniac. So the thing is, though, right, so after it had done that, it was on such a high, right, <laughs> yeah. it, could, it could never get that high again. There was nothing. Drugs. There was nothing that it could do. Went on tour, did it? It, did, it, it sort of ended up killing itself. 
because it could never never get that buzz that it right, got. Right, that was absolute bollocks. None of that is true, except <laughs> they sent a monkey into space. And I'll, and I'll, mm. um, I'll check that. Absolute drivel. So, it, in your mind, it committed suicide. It, had a, it went on a crazy bender of drinking drugs and women. And like then, it does happen, you hear about it. it was found it. in a motel room. <laughs> Carl, can I ask you a question? Go on. I know this is what a lot of the fans are already wondering. Is there going to be some monkey news today? There's got to be. Of course there is. Yeah? Yeah. That's All right. question. Well, I don't want... I, I'm worried because maybe this will steal your thunder. But uh, Sarah has emailed this in. Uh, uh, a chimp mauling under investigation. I oh. know you're concerned. Because this actually fuses two of our greatest features, monkey news and knob news. Oh. Into just one, into one seamless hole. Oh. Investigators said they are trying to figure out how two chimpanzees that viciously attacked a visitor at an animal sanctuary escaped from their cage. This is the grim bit. The chimps chewed off a man's nose and severely mauled his genitals and limbs. Why oh. did they go for his genitals? Both of them did as well. Eh? Both of them. Did you say two chimps? Uh, no, you're right, yeah, it was chimpanzees too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if both of them went, they just saw that they're dangling away and they... Uh-uh, they you just go went, for the nose? Uh-uh, yeah. uh-uh, I go for his bollocks. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now, what, what accent have they got there? I don't chips? know. Were they kind of New York gangster <laughs> chips? They're like <laughs> soprano <laughs> chips. <laughs> what, what happened to them, anyway? Um, well, unfortunately, they were shot dead by the authorities. You see, oh. that annoys me a bit. I know, well, again... What are you talking about? They're attacking people's gonads. I know, but they were happy in an African jungle a couple of years ago. That's what yeah, they do, th- isn't it? That is what they do. But why aren't they just sort of tranquilised? Where what, was why this? Why have I been accused like it was my fault? It's because <laughs> I happen to be reading... Sarah, who emailed it in, thought who should be getting a volunteer. It just annoys me how one way it's kind of like, you know, <laughs> we're trying to save the pandas, and then the next day someone's shooting them or whatever. I've, I've talked about this before, about St George killed the last dragon, right? No, right, it didn't exist. <laughs> it's the same thing, though. No, no, there was, there's never been any dragons. No, it's a mythical creature. Well, you don't By know By mythical, that. it means we made this up, like the unicorn. Mm, well, I, I... I don't even... What was your point about the dragon? What's that got to do with because this? Because I'm, I'm saying now, like, why is it all right to be going around, going mental with a gun, shooting all the monkeys and killing them? Because one day we're going to run out. This or, was an animal sanctuary, though. So presumably they had quite a cushy time there because most of the ones I visited, they've always got it easy. They're but hanging around on tyres, they've got comfy chairs, they're wanking. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to zoo, they're loving it. But hang on a minute, you've just answered your own question there. You said they're in a sanctuary, so they haven't had a good upbringing. So they're going to be a bit more like madder than other monkeys, aren't they? Because that's where the ill ones go, isn't it? Isn't it? Sorry, what do you understand by sanctuary? Well, I've been to one for seals. It's not like a borstal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's hating. It's a borstal. He it's thinks like scum. That, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, like they did some bad stuff in the jungle, <laughs> exactly. and they, they had a little monkey core, and they went <laughs> send him to yeah. borstal. So, well, what is it then? No, it's a monkey sanctuary where it, it like like a haven. Well, it's not like, a haven, is it? They got a bullet in the head. <laughs> Rick, it's that time again. It's what everyone's waiting for. Can you do the jingle for us? Oh. Chimpanzee, that monkey news, you. Right, this week the monkey news is about you know we all know like you know there's monkeys knocking about that aren't happy in, right, this, in yeah. this country. Sure, it is a big problem. About. Yeah, it's an epidemic. So they've they've set up like this uh, this place, okay, where they all go. The ones that aren't happy in a zoo and what have you, it's getting them down. Um, they can phone a number and they'll come and pick them up. Pop them in this this house place, right? And basically, they they can run riot in there. Yeah. They get freedom to sort of cheer themselves up. There's three people running this place, right? So these monkeys, big house and that. PlayStation, uh, anything they want. Gym, all that lot. Gym. gym. One of them wanted to mess about with the woman's breasts. Right? Which woman's breasts? The woman who works there. Right. Mm. Right. And. Um, she was like, right, pack it in, you know, we've all had a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> you've been sure. in the gym and everything. She obviously, you know, got a bit excited and that. Up, he yeah. was fired up and that, ready yeah. for some more action and that. He's trying to have a go on, on this woman's breast, right? She was like, have no. a go. She was like, no, you're not doing that. Pack it in and all that. The boss who's running the place was like, uh, come on, let him have a go. No, 
Right, you're talking shit. I am so, so anyway, right, so he's there. And he's, so the boss says, yeah, you the can have a group. Saying, yeah, the boss is saying, let him have a Come group. Come on, Rita. If Monkey wants to play with nipples, <laughs> let him. So she's like, I'm not happy with this. And he's going, Come on, you know the rules here. We've got to cheer these monkeys up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've got this to, is absolute we've fun. Made it. Actually, no, and, and uh, in the end, because she didn't allow it to happen, the fella bloke sacked her, got someone else in. I want to see the advert he put in the Guardian oh, oh. media page. I love that. Right. Woman wanted to let Chimp feel tits whenever it wants. <laughs> well, it's all up there. You're talking absolute shit again. Well, we'll see. That is no way mm. that happened. Mm. Rick, it's that time again. It's what the whole world is waiting for now. Is every it monkey week. news? It is monkey news. Please perform live the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news, you f- there we go. Right then, well, uh, got an email from John. Um, you know, if you've got any monkey news going on in your area. Uh, <laughs> just yeah. Let us know. God, just, amazing! Just, but there's a, there's a TV channel in, uh, in Moscow, mm. right? And I think they had a bit of bad luck or something, a lot of redundancies and that, right? And whoever was in charge of it got a bit mental and got rid of loads of people. Right? Yeah. And uh, they come in the next day and they were like, right, are we ready to go live and that? And someone comes running with a clipboard saying, <laughs> we, we haven't got any people left right, <laughs> to present. That's this such is nonsense. nonsense. Right. But right, i tell you what. Right, okay, carry on, carry on. So, so he goes, what? If just one employee <laughs> turns out to be Simeon and is doing a good job, I'm never doing this radio show again. So this TV channel, you know, he's, he's having a lot of problems and that. He, they've got to go live, right? He's like, what am I going to do? Anyway, for some reason, right, <laughs> there was a chimp knocking about. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, that's the key piece of information, no, but, but we didn't get it. Doesn't get it. Matter, we didn't get it. Matter, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It, doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. Imagine anyway. that was in a film. <laughs> and they're going, well, look, I can't see where this plot goes. Well, he's just there. <laughs> It's so, just there. So anyway, so he sort of reason. says, get, get it in a suit, right? Why? So, <laughs> because they're running out of ideas, the clock's ticking, they've got to go live with something. What do you mean? What, what he's is presenting? It a news programme? Well, he's listen, presenting? Listen, it's a chat show. <laughs> I'm not... They can't again, talk! Don't have a go at me, have a go at John, who sent this in. Right, and, and be this quiet, is... let's hear it. Let's hear it again. So anyway, so like I say, so... The... Going live, five, four, three, two, one, what have you. Chimp sat there on the chair. Um, he was like, look, let's just get through tonight's show and worry about this tomorrow, right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, so they put a chimp in a suit. Where, what, was that handmade or were the sleeves a bit short on him? You idiot, think. So, so anyway, it's sat there, right? And they're going, right, here we go. Good luck, everyone, right? Yeah. Uh, chimp's there. What programme is this? It's a chat show. Uh, Whose who's chat show is it? Well, it's, it's the monkeys. I like the fact that it's the monkeys now, is it? <laughs> I, I, say, like, it? I like the fact that they put the chimp in a suit. It's like, no one's going to take this chat show seriously if he's not dressed <laughs> up, if he's not smart. <laughs> slovenly, look at that, <laughs> slovenly ape. So, anyway, oh. let's, let's, let's you know, get to the point of it and that, right? So, anyway, so they, they go on, right? It's all going. It's going Didn't bleeper. happen. There's no but, way this happened. Here's a so, fundamental so anyway. question How was the chimp asking questions? Um, not that sure about that bit, but <laughs> all I've got is the stuff that was on the news site for this. Like I say, I've but given it's you, rubbish. Yeah, but I've given you some facts. No, I've told no, no. you there's a TV channel in Moscow that's having problems, right? I've, I've explained that. No, bit. it's this rubbish. They've got rid of the presenters. The monkey sat there, right? Don't worry about it. Anyway, I'm telling you, it goes all right. All right. All right. Oh, so it anyway, okay. In case you were worried, Rick. he sat there, right? Absolutely. They get shit. to the first break. They're like, can't believe it. Right? <laughs> you know, viewing figures and that. They're loving it, right? What? No. What? So how did they know the viewing figures Shh. in the break? Please and, do not interrupt. And, and and what does the, What did the chimp do in the first half? They had a They had a big guest on that that week and. What does he do? Just talk to himself? They walked off. So Cher comes I'm not, I'm on. Yeah. Sure, but say if it is Cher, right? No. Right? The main gaffer is like going, oh, Cher's going to go mental at us, right, for putting say it is, No, it is Cher. It, no, in his mind, it's Cher sitting there talking to a chimp in a suit. So anyway, she And they're comes filming off. it for Moscow TV and the ratings are going through the roof. <laughs> Presumably there's a translator because Cher doesn't speak either Russian or chimp. <laughs> So she comes off, right, and the bloke who's in charge is like, she's going to go mad. She's going to go mad here. She walks up, she goes, I love that. Right? 
said that's one of the best interviews, right? So anyway, we decided, right? It went so well, kept him on. He's still there. I love the fact that Cher was an idea that Steve threw up, and now she's going, I love that, I love that, I love that. Jim, get oh. me back there. I want to go to Moscow, never mind. Don't, Unbelievable. Don't, don't have a go at me, have a go at John, but, you know, if you've got any monkey news, send it in. Carl, can we have some monkey news before I die? All right. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news, yeah. This monkey that was knocking about called Ollie. It was in this zoo. Um, and, and it was the only monkey in there, right? And uh, it was getting a bit lonely because, like, it was sharing its sort of time with, say, an elephant and a giraffe and no, that. No, it doesn't happen. And they, w they didn't really. No, 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 get whoa, whoa, on whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. They do no, not. Let me put, just tell you. They do not let me put chimpanzees yeah, let me in. Tell you. No, well, it's not true. Why would he share his time with an elephant and a giraffe? Gervais, it was it was some kind of flat share. They put they put an advert in the student union. Yeah, you know, we've got two rooms to let. African mammal wanted, not specific. A mammoth and a. What I'm saying is, there was other elephants for elephants to knock about with than that. The monkey, it was the only one there. So what happened is the zookeeper right. felt a bit sorry for him. He he started to sort of get pally with him. So at lunchtime, when the zookeeper was sat on the wall having his like hand butties or whatever, mm. he'd sort of go, "You all right?" Yeah. And and it used to come over closer and closer. Right? Yeah. Anyway, within a month, he was sat on the wall having his lunch with him. Right. That but anyway, true. so on. he sat he sat there, and as time goes on, you yeah. know, he's, he's sort of sat with him most of the day. Monkeys yeah. walking around with him, helping feed the other animals and that. No. But then what happened is the, the, the zookeeper, at the end of the night, when he's, like, locking up and stuff, yeah. he'd feel bad because he'd be leaving the zoo and, like, Ollie's sat there and he's like, I'll see you tomorrow, and the monkey's like, yeah, I'll right, see you later. <laughs> looking all fed up because he's got home to go to and he's still stuck in his... where he's basically working every day. Right, so he's never... <laughs> He's never going home, right? Now he's sleeping at work, the so, monkey. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, the, yeah. the zookeeper goes home, says to his wife, look, Ollie's uh, having a bit of a time at the moment. So she said, oh, yeah, what's going on? He said, well, uh, <laughs> she's looking a bit fed up, you know, he's, he's sick of it. So she said, bring him home. It didn't happen. <laughs> so this anyway, is in your head. So, so she said, yeah, bring it home tonight. So anyway, he's, he's looking forward to going into work and night. He sees Ollie. He doesn't tell him straight away. <laughs> For him later. It gets to the end of the day. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, get your coat. He's like, what? Coat? What do you mean, get no, your no, coat? But, <laughs> whatever the equivalent is, right? Whatever you say to a monkey, it was kind of like, you know, you're coming with me sort of thing. Yeah. Right. So he's going, oh, brilliant. Anyway, no, he's not. So what he do you mean he's going brilliant? He takes Look, it home, So he gets right? his hat and coat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And he can't believe he's learning, right? Yeah, he, goes, he goes back to the zookeeper's house. Everything's going well for about a week and a half. Right. right? Treating him really well. He's sat there... You know, he's having a brandy at night before he goes to bed. <laughs> so he said to his wife, look, you're at home all day, right? Oh, jeez. I'm going to work, I'll leave it with you, right? Yeah. So Ollie stays at home. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as time oh. goes on, a yep. little bit of trouble. Whilst the fella's busy at work, Ollie starts getting a little bit cheeky, tries it on with the missus. Whoa! Right. Well, how the, the does Carl. a monkey try it on with the missus? Are you talking well, this this is classic monkey news. Um, how does it try it on with so the missus? So he's a bit drunk, he, he, he stinks of smoke, he tries it on with the missus. How does he try it on with her? He's, I, I don't know all the detail on You don't on know any bit. of the details. I don't know the detail on that bit. But you don't know, know any of the details. No, I don't know the details on that bit. You don't know any of the details. So what happened? So while the zookeeper's away, the monkey did play, <laughs> did the zookeeper's wife reciprocate these affections? She probably went along with that at first. You know, she's cooking at home, getting the tea ready, that's walking past, pinching her arse or whatever. <laughs> And it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it, it starts off just like it does, you know, with humans. It starts off as a bit of fun before you know it, you know. Split up in the end anyway, the zookeeper and the what's it. I think the monkey stayed stayed with the, with the woman. <laughs> so, it's all there. It's Honestly, all there, mate. You, it, it def your imagination. Well, you should write stories. You get should people, write, you get know. Get people to look it up. It's look, Just put in monkey, chimp, ollie, and it's, it's all there. Carl... It's what we've all been waiting for. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. All right, well, this one sent in from uh, from Sam in New York, right? And it's about a fire that happened, right, in a really... Do you know, like, in New York, they have loads of big buildings, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, really, really tall ones and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And um, there was a fire in one of them, right? So they did as expected. They called up, you know... Fire brigade and that. They turned up, right? Uh, fire engine parked up. It's like, right, where's the fire? And they said, oh, it's on like 
uh, floor 100 or whatever. And they said, oh no, we've brought the fire engine with the short ladders. <laughs> Stupid mistake, but go on. Right. So anyway, so they said, well, how are we going to get up there? Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can't. But if they've only brought the short ladders. No, we can't. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Forget that it. was uh, monkey news. So, uh, so they said, well, there's a lot of, like, grippage. Because <laughs> they, they made up words, the uh, firemen, yeah, the NYPD firemen. <laughs> there's a lot of grippage! On the yeah. side of the building uh... and stuff. So anyway, they said, why don't we just go and get a monkey, right? So they got, oh. they got a monkey. Whoa, Whoa, yeah. That's is a bit that, of a jump. Is they that just... policy now in, uh, in, in the New York Fire Department? Well, the, you know, you've got to think quick, haven't you, at the end of the day. If people are up there, you don't, yeah. you don't start querying if it'll work or not. You try everything that, that you can to, yeah. to help someone out, right? That's the first thing I thought of, was it, a monkey? So it was quicker for them to go and get a monkey than to go back and get the long ladders? Why don't they get Spider-Man? Okay, <laughs> <fair enough. laughs> Why don't they get Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, cool Spider-Man. Yeah, cool Spider-Man. So anyway, so they got they got a monkey down there, and they said, right, well, where did they get it from? We don't know from the local zoo or something. Oh yeah, yeah. So they said, look, let's uh, you know we've got to remember there's there could be someone up there, um, right. and it'll shock them a bit if, <laughs> if, if, a monkey, looking at, if a monkey comes in, right? Yeah. So they said, yeah, I don't think they'd care. Get it their, their building's on fire. They're not going to yeah. go. That's oh, weird. There's a monkey at the window. <laughs> They'd be screaming, <laughs> save me! Oh, there's, there's a monkey. Oh, so where anyway, are you from then? So they said, right, we'll just get it a little small uniform and that, the smallest you've got. <laughs> but whoa, well, hold on though. Actually, where are you going to get that? I'm going back to the um, going back to the uh, station. We'll get the long ladders while you're there. No time. No time. No, I, I no. bought the small uniform. I just didn't bring the long <laughs> yeah. ladders. <laughs> So anyway, it goes up there. It's got all the kit on and what. It's yeah. got its little ardet on and all that. It grabs. Uh, there was there was like a little person up there. Manages to grab that. Not a little. Who was up there then? It was just someone just a... that was just the right size for a monkey to be able to rescue, which is <laughs> handy. Because if it'd been anyone else, like a larger person or a family, we'd all be screwed. Yeah. No, I don't know about the size of it, but it's just the story saying how like uh, it was quite a big, big monkey, and that it was good at breaking down doors. Oh yeah. Uh, it was good at climbing into small spaces and oh, stuff yeah. like that. Anyway, it managed it's big, to... so it's big enough to carry a, a, a fully grown man, but small enough to climb through a, a, a cat flap. Yeah. Sure. So uh, which is handy. So anyway, it managed to, you know, get Did it have the, the boots on as well. It got got the person everything, and uh, now it says it, you know, it's sort of. Uh, it's on call if, if they ever need it again. <laughs> sure, and if they ever get anywhere again and they've forgotten the long ladders but there's plenty of grippage, they just call for cocoa. <laughs> so that's this week's monkey news. Bollocks. OK, I think it's probably time. I've just Let me just check my watch. Yeah, it's monkey news time. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news, yeah. So this week, anyway, it's about it's more about tall buildings and stuff. Oh, yeah. It was this bloke who was a builder. Oh, yeah. Right? And uh, you know what builders are like? They sort of move about, don't they, from, from sort of building to building, just building. <laughs> well, yeah, well, once they've built it, the building's done and they move on to move build some more. Building to building, just building, yeah. So he goes to his next job and that, right? Who does? The builder? The builder. Yep. He goes to, like, the, 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 boss, the, the boss of this building who's building it. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK. Yeah. And he, and he says what unto him? Do you need anything building? <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah. So anyway, so he says, uh, he says, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of work and that going about. Yep. He says we're working on this one here. He said, uh, get going on it. Like, there's your bricks and your cement and stuff. Get on with it. Yeah. So the so any plans? So they, so this just build. Just just start building. Yeah. Go up. They're getting on with it and stuff. It's all going well. Right? Yeah. Um, but he notices that there's someone working high up. Oh. Right on, <laughs> okay. on the top bit. So anyway, he's he's saying to like the other workers, he's going, "What's who's that up there? Who's that up like, there? He's, yeah. he's working on his own." The, what the little fella was he? And, the uh, little hairy fella up there. Who's the little hairy fella up there with the top uh, hard hat? And, and the other fellows are going, "Look, you know, don't ask questions. You know, the boss decides who he takes on. We're mm. happy to be getting paid here." Yeah. <laughs> don't ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll see him when he comes down. So he said, "Well, he's, he's pretty impressive. You know, the the work rate he's doing, the way he's getting from one girder to the other. <laughs> he Swinging, seem, is he? He doesn't seem to be scared mm. of the heights or anything. He said, no, just let him get on with it. You know, we work well as a team. So anyway, <laughs> what nonsense is so, this? So oh, he believes all this. Yep. So he sees the boss and he goes, "That fella up there, he, who's the fella up there? He's, he's pretty good." And he's like, "Look, you know, just get on with the job. Yeah, I'll pay you. Let's just all get on with our jobs, that." <laughs> Lunchtime comes, they're all sat there, sat on a little wall having the sandwiches, he's thinking he'll come down in a bit. He's yeah. just carrying on. Yeah. Is he? He's just still going? Still yeah. going on that, right? Mm. So, the fella says to the boss man, he says, isn't, isn't that fella up there uh, going to come down and join us for lunch? He said, uh, he said, like I said, mate, don't don't worry about him, yeah. right? 
it's yeah, a very problem. secret. I'm suspicious about this fella. I don't, yeah, know. I don't, know. I don't know why he's working through his lunch. I don't know why he's not scared of heights. I don't know why he's swinging from girder to girder. It's weird. Go on. So he said, oh, anyway, you've reminded me that he's up there. He said um, he's doing a lot of riveting and stuff up there. He probably needs some more nuts to... Uh... Right, sure. And what kind of nuts is that? Is that nuts to food or...? So he said, what, nuts? He said, yeah, just, uh, there's a bag full of them there. Just just put them on the hook, send them up, and he can get on with his job. So anyway, he picks these nuts up. Nuts, right? yeah. Just hooks them on. He thinks they're not that heavy, no. considering, you know, I mean, they're normally pretty heavy, aren't they? Like, nuts big and bolts nuts, and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, he has a little glance in. Oh, no, what's in there? Nuts. What, you mean nuts that you can eat? Nuts that you can eat, oh. right? So they send the bag up, and he's thinking, what's all that about? He checks him out, starts to stare, works it out. You can see that... He's a little chimp running about, so he goes, I'm not happy with this. Why so, isn't he? Because he's working for an organisation that's, you know, there's unions for this sort of stuff, isn't there? <laughs> Is there? Yeah, he's not going, that's amazing. They've got a chimp riveting this building together. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not scary. He's wondering if they're breaking union rules. So he, he, go, he you goes... You half talk So he goes, shit, and has a with he the goes boss. to the boss and he goes, look, I've worked out what you're playing at here. Yeah. He said, oh, them Is the there. boss sitting in a tyre? <laughs> so he goes, look, you know, we're just all trying to earn a living here. He said, uh, don't get involved in it. I'm happy to pay you, but I'm paying him. Don't don't interfere. He's paying him? And he's saying, look, I, I'm just not happy with this. It's, it's not allowed. So the boss was saying, well... We pay honest, peanuts, mate, we get monkeys. He said, to be honest, mate, you know, uh, he, he's a great worker. <laughs> he's known for doing what he does. He's a good grafter. <laughs> if one of you's going to go, right, I'm afraid I'll have to let you go because he's, he's been here longer than that. Yeah. He was made redundant. None because of that of happened. He, he was he was laid off. None of that happened. He's laid off and that, and that's no. where that saying about um, you know, like there's a lot of tower blocks and that in America. It's like, like the chimp off the old block. Is is where. <laughs> <laughs> so that's monkey news. It's that time again. Do the jingle. I'm going gonna, gonna to do a really good one. Though. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news, yeah. Right, do you know it's it's nearly time for the Winter Olympics again. Okay. Is it? Okay. They sort of come round every four years. Is it this year? Is it? Yeah. And uh, the 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 last one that happened four years ago. Yeah. There was a there was a bit of an incident. Oh no. Do you remember any winners that were monkeys? In any of the no, tournaments. Of course not. No. no. So, so, so it's anyway, not going to be that because it wouldn't be true. No, on. Yeah. So anyway, one one of the uh, popular events, um, bobsleigh. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, yeah. You know it. You know it works. Well, it's you like need four sleigh. men. Is it four men or five four men? It's four. Yeah. So it's definitely four men that you need. need on four a, men. Two teams. Is it and two and there's two team bobsleigh. As but well. they're always men. Is that right, Rich? Don't <laughs> just clarify. With the Winter Olympics, you can't have any animals taking part. No, and they and they also well, no because they, they wouldn't be allowed. And two, there's no way they could disguise it because not only would they see it straight away, right? But they have blood tests, <laughs> right? Okay, so, which would show up. So they definitely know if it was well, they have blood tests. Non it's impossible. It would be literally impossible to have anything other than a human taking involved part. in a bobsleigh. Slay team. Fine. Okay. So carry on. So yeah. anyway, the, the the country was doing really well in the qualifying stages. Oh yeah. But the problem was there was there was like two members mm. who were getting all like the press and stuff. Oh right. Yeah. Anyway, so this one member was getting fed up because the the other two were getting all the press and what have you. So he said, I, "I'm not happy with this. Yeah. I'm jacking it in." Oh. So they were like, "You're joking. We've we've qualified. We're getting into like the main race and everything. Mm. You can't leave us now." And he said, "Well, you could do it all." On your own before, you know, you, the way you were acting like, you didn't yeah. need me, so I'm going. Yeah. So the clock's ticking, it's getting close to the big race and everything. Of course it is, yeah. They're like, what, what are we going to do here? The substitute right. they took with them. What are they going to do? Stuff, yeah. yeah, they would take the substitute, so get no, in they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't have any of them and that, what, it's, what, you know, a lot I, of injuries just, and stuff. Or just get a mate to do it, just get a mate or a friend yeah, or, or the coach to do it, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of responsibility on these people and, mm. you know, you won't want to let your country down and that, and they were like, what are we going to do? Get a waiter or anyone Anyway, the time comes for the race. Seems to be three people on it. There appears to be three, okay. Yeah. Um, they start <laughs> off, they're whizzing around the track faster than normal. They, they're beating their old record. <laughs> right, amazing. Because the new fella they've got a little bit smaller. Ah. Oh, right? Is he in? So, is he in the bobsleigh? Is he pushing? He's he's in it. Oh, okay. Right. He's wearing a uniform and a helmet though. He's we can't got see what he looks on, like. He's got the kit on. Um, nobody knows who he is, but the country's they loving it. They're they like, well, it looks like we're going to break all our records. You know, good. It's good that they found someone new. Yeah. Bet the other fella who left is sort of kicking himself, thinking, oh, I could have been part of this. 
Anyway. This wasn't a bloke that had very short legs and long arms, was it? Anyway, what happened is they're whizzing round the track and what have you. Faster than ever, yeah. Faster than ever. And the press are like going, beating all records here. They mm. started taking photographs. <gasps> a lot of flashes from the cameras and stuff. Right, of course. Suddenly, the bobsleigh goes a bit sort of mental and whizzes off, off the track. Ambulance comes rushing over and stuff. The other two members are looking pretty nervous for some reason. Mm. Oh, what are they doing? They're saying, look, um, don't take the helmet off because, you know, you can do more damage to the, the well, neck. Well, don't tell the paramedics how to do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they know their job. Yeah, they know yeah, their yeah, job. Yeah. Please, so they were like, yeah. just, just, you know, and plus, you know, he doesn't. He, he came in at last minute to help us out. He doesn't want everyone to know who he is. He's, yeah. he's not after the limelight. Yeah. Like some of the members we used to have. But he just, yeah. he just was helping his country out. Yeah. Leave the helmet on. Anyway, they get him in the ambulance and stuff. The other two are looking a bit worried and what have you. They're oh. gutted, they lost the race. The little bloke, is the bloke not saying anything? Is he not? He's, he's in the ambulance now. Is he not saying anything, though? Anyway, we reported that one of the ambulance drivers said that, that, on that on that sort of dreadful night when, you know, the country lost out on a medal in the bobsleigh, he sort of reported that there was a monkey in the back of the ambulance. People were like going, ah, you're joking. I don't remember you? this. I don't remember this. You, at not, all. You, well, this is it, you see, because they sort of swept it under the carpet oh, a little bit. Right. They were like, this bullshit. is crazy talk. It's this. All shit. It's this all is shit crazy again. talk. Once talk, absolute shit. Where'd you get this, this from? This is crazy talk, right? It is but, crazy talk, and it's from the mouth of Carl Pilkington. And, and, but, the, but the weird thing is that backed it up. Well, following week, um, there was a story of some people who visited the zoo saw a chimp in a neck brace. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's this week's monkey news. Oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news! It was this um, airline, and um, it was having a lot of problems. And, and a what, lot of pilots the... too tall? Yeah, the cabin was so tiny. Only bananas were allowed in the cockpit for fuel. <laughs> anyway, yeah. there, there was a lot of strikes going on, right? Sure. Because... Um, I don't know what it was about. It was over money or whatever. Yes. And the well, get get someone that doesn't need money. <laughs> yeah, but but, well, but what else could you pay something in? Well, Rick, I mean, peanuts. Would, but so, okay, peanuts or fruit. Yeah. So anyway, the the boss of the airline, the, oh. he had like one pilot who he could trust, right? And that was his son. Right. <laughs> but the problem is with a lot of these planes, you need two pilots. Of course right? you do. And he's like, if only I had two sons, but he didn't. There's no point harping on about it. Right? Sure. Is as, it? This a, he runs a he airline. He runs an airline, yeah. But how many pilots are there? Because there must be loads. No, there's loads, but the problem is a lot of them are going on strike. Oh. And each week you can see that we're struggling here. We but how can they yeah. just, just close it down? No, no way, you can't do that, no, Rick. Of course you can't. It's costing them a fortune just... if he closes it down. Yeah, yeah, but what, one plane's not going to make a difference in an airline, is it? No, 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 it's no. all the planes. It's all the planes, mate. So the son, he's mm. flying the planes and that. He's getting worried for his dad because of his business. It's falling sure. apart. He's like, anyway, listen. Well, one plane won't make any difference. Don't though. worry about it. We've found someone who you can work with. He said he's staying over near the sort of quarantine area where oh, all yeah. the animals are kept oh, and yeah, stuff. Right. Okay. They won't be looking in there. They won't no. bother. No. So he's like, all right. Uh, but there's no animal you. that could be a co-pilot, that's why. I'll see you. Uh, he'll meet up with you in the cockpit. Like he'll meet up in the cockpit, yeah, sure. So anyway, he gets in there. He meets them. At first, a little bit of a shock who he's going to be working with. But why? he's thinking... As long as I can keep my dad's business alive, I can Not keep a job. Not with one plane. Everyone's happy. Then one day mm. what happens is a little bit of a, a, bit of a problem. Oh, uh, dear. Well, what oh. happened is uh, one woman who was on the, on the plane got a bit peckish. Right. right. And said, uh, said to the air hostess woman, said, I'm a little bit peckish. Have you got any sort of nibbles and that? She went, uh, no, I've got, got a sandwich. She said, I don't really want a sandwich. You want some, you know, like the usual stuff that planes give out, just like nuts. a bag of nuts or something. Well, nuts, are, yeah. are they not giving those out yet? So, no, they don't give it for some reason. She was like, look, we've, we've stopped giving out the nuts. We can get you That's a sandwich. Strange. And the woman's yeah. like, I don't want a sandwich. Yeah. I just want some nuts. Yeah, Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. A sandwich is quite a big meal. And what have you. I just yeah. want some nibbles. Want some nuts. Well, it's not, that's not available. So Done. I can't, End of story. Can't so she said, well, you're saying there aren't any nuts. She yeah. said, but earlier, I saw you put a tray outside the cockpit. Right? It had a sandwich on it, two Cokes and two bags of nuts. Right. She said, so you're saying there aren't any, but the pilot's getting Well, there aren't any now. That was the last two packets. Done. No, no. So, Let's go home. <laughs> well, well I'm, I'll go and have a word with the pilot myself, because you only put them out there a few minutes ago. He can't have eaten them yet. I want you, you can't go. No, no. I know this is it. This yeah. is, she was saying you cannot go over. She's going, no. listen, yeah. I'm going to go over, because no, I feel no, like I'm being lied to. No, you can't. So she goes, so no, and, no and the pilot can well, hear all this anyway. chat about the nuts and what have you, and he's thinking, what's going on out there? Yeah. He opens the door. Yeah. She gets a glance in. Monkey sat there with headphones. Fucking bollocks. Well, it's that time again. If you'd give us the jingle, please. 
Oh, chimpanzee dive. <laughs> okay, now that surely cannot be fair on anyone's ears listening. <laughs> Right, um, ages ago, right, about about the 1950s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was this gangster knocking about. And do you know, like... Was he called Hairy Fingers? Do you know, like, a lot of gangsters like <laughs> to get into gambling and that? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, like, all these, all these peers and that, all these, all these mates who are, like, gangsters and stuff, mm. they've all bought horses, right, that they take... You know, tech racing, and they make money from them. That don't. They? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, he and was Chuckles like, Chuckles the seagull was no different. And and he was like, yeah, that's uh, that's a good thing to get into. I might might get into a bit of that, right? So he gets himself this horse, right? And it, there's a big race coming up. That's why he's sort of it's a bit of a last minute. And the and the jockey turns up and it's fine. He's a human jockey and it's fine. Excellent. Okay. Well, that was another so, podcast. So anyway, so um, please listen. Oh, hang on, there's more. There's more. Oh, go on. on. So oh. so anyway, so. Uh, this big race is coming up. He's yeah. like, I've got to be involved in this yeah, because definitely. I can make a lot of money out of me also. Choose the jockey wisely then. So he says to his, like, mate, he said, look, uh, I've got myself a horse and that. He said, we just need a jockey, get someone oh, yeah. to sort it out and yeah. what have you so we can get in this race. So, yeah, the jockey so club. His, his mate's people. like, yeah, all right, I'll have, a, I'll have a word and that, have a look round and that, see if there's anyone decent. And there's, the, the good there. thing about jockeys is there's never been a shortage of jockeys because a lot of them don't make the grade. So there's 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 always too many jockeys to go round. Normally always too many human jockeys. Yeah, yeah, there's, you, there's never a problem getting jockeys. Fine. Go on. So anyway, right, so his mate says, look, I'm having a problem getting a jockey. Seems odd oh, because no, Ricky's just been saying... He's just been, been saying there's not a problem. What do you mean? So just because the main problem was Go on. a lot of jockeys were aware of this gangster and were saying I'm not getting involved with this guy. The chances are I won't get paid. You know, he's a gangster. It's not no, worth it. No, you would do it if it was a gangster asking you. You'd be scared of the consequences. So anyway, he's saying, look, don't be coming to me with problems and that, right? I've got the horse. I want it in the race. Sort it out. So they're like, oh, but boss, and he's like, don't give me any of that. Don't exactly. They do what he says, so any jockey would do it. Go on. So anyway, so the day before... The big race, yeah. <laughs> Left it to the last minute, OK, but yeah. fine. <laughs> and uh, he says, have you, have you got a jockey then? And they're like, yeah, but... And he's going, D don't worry about it, have you got a jockey? Yeah, but... And he's like, well, look... He wants what, to what? say, sure, he yeah. So yeah, uh, like, yeah. he's saying, has he ridden their horses before on that? He said, well, yeah, he has, but mainly... And he's like, oh, brilliant. And he goes, yeah, but mainly in, like, a in circus. The, in the jung... No, like in, in the in the circus and that, he'd worked he'd, he'd work with horses and stuff. In the circus, it's fine. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, that's fine. that's enough. That's that's all I need to know. Well, they'd be too heavy because circus so, people so, are quite built, aren't they? They're, so, they're he said being so, a bit heavier than the jockey because the jockeys are about eight and a half stone. He said, brilliant. Get him down there and that, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. the race happens. He didn't want to meet him beforehand. He wasn't worried. No about point. Not no, bothered. No. As far as he's concerned, he's, it's putting all his, he's putting his money on it and what have you. Yeah. Right? Sure. What happened is they were trying to make him put on the jo jockey outfit. Yeah. But for some reason it didn't fit that well. Sleeves too was, short, legs too, too long. It's that sort of problem. OK. So they let him, like, you know, wear his stuff that he wore in the circus and that, because it's, it's, it's comfortable with that, yeah, he's yeah, happy yeah. with it, do you know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah, what he's exactly. happy with. Yeah. Anyway, race starts and what have you. Uh, this horse straight out of the trap and that, high speed, right? This, this jockey's got a really big grin on his face, he's loving it, right? Everyone's cheering, going, who is this? Who's this jockey here? Yeah. It's amazing, never seen him before, and yet, look at him. But they can see his face, clearly. Anyway, Gangster's happy in that, because he's, he's won... But I just want to say, the crowd, the crowd can see the jockey, can they? What? The crowd can... I mean, it's... it's yeah, but he's not... so fast and what have <laughs> the you. The blur, it's a blur, it's all the blur. He's really... He's good at it. I mean, apparently right. he was close to falling off and people were like, he's, he's gone, he's a goner. Right. He's got such a good reach that he managed to grab hold of oh, the... Oh, reach. Oh. At the end of it, you know, like, the winner sort of rides around the crowd a bit. Yeah. Right? Sort of, you know, show off and what have you. Yeah. And all the women are there. And, you know, like, women are all dolled up at these events. Sure. Yeah. They've all got big, big hats on. Uh, Sometimes they got through all those hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, one, one of the God. women, in one the of 50s, the women, particularly oh Carmen God. Miranda, was very yeah, popular. Yeah, yeah. One of the women had like, like you say, fruit and what have you on it, yeah. a little, little banana. Right, right. some kind I'm, of Cuban they're not woman. Real, they're not real though. The hats, they're, they're, uh, no, they're, <laughs> they're not real fruit, is it? Of course not. Never. So but I don't really know who. Well, I thought they wore those sort of kind of Cuban yeah, entertainment but even, shows. Even, I didn't realise they wore them yeah, at events. Yeah, even if it's like a big event, you know, you might have a hat with fruit, and it's sort of joke, but but it's it's fake fruit because it would it would it would perish. Well, this this jockey didn't understand that. He'd never seen false fruit. 
I don't understand. But what? why did the, why did the jockey? <laughs> so why are you so desperate for fruit? I don't, I don't understand. So anyway, so meanwhile the gangster's collecting his five hundred quid winnings. Yeah. Right? He's over the moon. Yeah. He kicks off because of this woman with the fruit. Yeah, I don't understand. I still don't understand no, where the understand. jockey would go. Everyone from. noticed. Jockey, little monkey fella. Oh, that makes sense. If he was a monkey, that would make sense. Yeah. What year was this? Because I want to. It was it was 1950s, and that's where the saying comes from about you know, like in Cockney slang, 500 quid is a monkey. He he sort of put he, you know he put a monkey on it, and it all goes back to the time. So when... So this happened in this in in, in England. In this country, yeah, in 1950s. England. So someone could well still be alive so, that we could easily yeah. contact. That well, would that's it. We always you know, there's no time length on this monkey news. If you've got any, if it's history, you know, if yeah. it goes back. Or if it's made up, bullshit. Just, just send it in. If it's to, bollocks, uh, if you've got any bollocks, if it's actually bollocks, send please send it in. That's this week's monkey news. Oh, well, it's that time now. Yeah? It's the big one. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right, it was this... Uh, monkey? This fella, right, who uh, he had a problem with his eyes. Right? Yeah. So uh, he goes to the doctors and he goes, uh, oh, I've got a problem with my eyes. And he goes, yeah, they bad them, right? <laughs> he goes, uh, it was in America, you know, like how you have to pay for, for medical stuff and all that. Mm. And the doctor said, oh, if, if, if I fix them, it's going to be like 10 grand, right? Mm. He's like, but I haven't got the money, doctor. He goes, well, I can't help you then. You know, there's a lot of people with bad eyes like them. Can't do anything for you. Mm. So he goes, oh, it's getting worse. Can't do anything. Oh, so okay. anyway, so he goes home. Is that the price of human eyes, is it? So he goes home, he's looking in the paper, right, and he, he sort of sees in the adverts at the back and uh, there's a little advert there saying cheap doctors, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> Oh, no. no. So he's thinking, oh, maybe that's, maybe, that's what I, uh, maybe that's what I need, right? So he calls them up, woman's there, she's like, wait, what can I do? He goes, I've got bad eyes and that. She says, oh, come in tomorrow, we'll sort them out. She's like, brilliant, I'll see you then. Right? So he goes down there and uh, he says, right, you know, I, c I can hardly see, my eyes have got in really bad state and what have you. Right. Need to have them sorted out. I don't know what you do, whatever you do. Right. I need now, doing. His eyes are so bad. Can he see the doctors? He can... um, not really. He's sort really of squinting, squinting and that. But you know, so, uh, so he's like, uh, do I need to see the doctor to you know have a word and tell them what problems? She's like, no, I don't. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about just, it. No, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd be comfortable if it's a just, doctor. just you know, just let me inject you and uh, we'll knock mm. you out and we'll we'll get on with it. <laughs> and it's like, get well, the it's, it's... Can I just tell you something about um, chimps as well, just before you continue? Go on. You know, they don't have opposable thumbs. Now, why are opposable thumbs useful? Really? Well, to, to grip something, to do anything like, you know, even simple uh, stuff like writing, so let alone surgery. So without an but opposable thumb... can I just thumb, check now? So if I was a doctor and I was doing any form of difficult surgery, would I need opposable thumbs? You'd need opposable thumbs. To be and a doctor. And without opposable... You couldn't do anything. You but, couldn't, thanks it, for clearing that because up. Because um, uh, the opposable thumb allowed something in our evolution called the precision grip. Right. So without that, you couldn't do anything. I'm just glad they've got that cleared up, thanks. So anyway, so he's had the injection, he's nodding off and what have you, right? his eyes are sort of closing and that, he hears the door open, he, he sort of just sees this little fella come in and he's like, hello doctor, he's trying to like make a chat with it, sure. but like, he, he's just it. nodding off. Uh, no, well, just, oh, he's he never called a doctor. He, he, he These she. people have done seven years medical Deeply training. Respected people. How could you start call it it? So anyway, he thought, oh, it's weird he didn't answer, but you know, doctors can be quite moody, you know, they're highly intelligent, they don't need... Especially idle, little airy ones. Well, just idle chit-chat. There's no room for that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, just, it's just, it's just, oh, yeah, but you know, if, I, if I'm going in to have my eyes done, I want a little bit of idle chimp chat. So anyway, time passes, right? Yeah. Uh, he sort of wakes up and uh, he opens his eyes, right? And uh, it's brilliant, he can't believe it. Eyes are perfect. He's had, he's had, he's had the op. He, he can't believe the sight. He's like, nurse, right? And the nurse comes in. Because I can't believe it. This is brilliant. I've never had this such good sight. Do you know what I mean? Even when I was a baby. Yeah. And my eyes were new. Yeah. I didn't see this good. Great. So she's like, well, you know, that's... that's you realise what, the nurse is a panda. That's that's what we do, right? So uh, he said, right, so can I just see the doctor and just say thanks and that? She's like, well, to be honest, you know, he's, he's specialised in what he does. Uh, there's a lot of what work. a load of bollocks this is getting. <laughs> Please, where did you get this from? No, come on, let's hear the end of the news. There's a wow. lot of there's a lot of like operations he's got to do. Yeah. Um, so you know, leave him to it. He's just having a kip. You know, I'll, I'll let him know that you were grateful. Uh, you know, pays the check. Off you go. Go and enjoy looking at stuff. Yeah. So uh, he says. Uh, he said, no, I just just what's wrong with that? I just want to see that. Just no, start, no fine. leave it. Just leave. Yeah, exactly. Like, leave it. And he's, he's like, it's, he's it's like, yeah, but I can't. You know, I, I want to thank him. So he's done such a good thing for me. So they're getting into a bit of an argument and what have you, and the voices are raising, right? Mm. Uh, door gonna wait, opens. They're going to wake the doctor up. Well, mm. that's what they did. They woke it up, right? They so, woke it up. So the door opens, right? <laughs> Little monkey comes out. Oh. And, and he's like, what's, what's, what's going on here? It's hospital. Why is the, why is the uh, a monkey knocking about? Yeah. So the woman, woman said, well, what, what do you mean? He's the doctor. Right? 
So so he's like, you are having a laugh, aren't you? She goes, look, don't complain. You, your eyes are sorted. Yeah. You know, the doctor's done it. What, what What's the problem? He said, well, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have come here. She said, well, what do you mean you didn't know that? She said, the advert in the paper you read, it's like chimp doctors. That is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard. That really is the worst. It's what, and he, so he, because his eyes were so bad, he thought it said cheap doctors? He saw the advert and, and it said it said chimp doctors, but because his eyes were bad, he just saw it. What as, journal is this in? It was, it was years ago, because it sort of says how the monkey sort of carried on working for a few years. Uh, he couldn't do anything about it. Then just retired to play golf. It's absolute bollocks. There's no to... way. There's the worst. I mean, it's not even worth talking about. So. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It's the most ridiculous monkey news you've ever heard, and that's saying something. Chimp, chimp doctors, cheap. It's an easy mistake. Oh, that monkey news. <laughs> oh, that jingle is getting more annoyed by the week. Well, this is the final monkey news, right? I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore, right? Because we've we've covered it all. All the monkey news has been covered. It has, it has. We've done, we've done loads of them. I think all the news that needs to be sort of known has been told, right? Um, that is the end of the news. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? Get on with it. Right? Do you know um, we uh, chatted about the monkey that went into space and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This was the one that was fed by bananas that came out of a little shoot on the space ground. Yeah, it went, it went up there. He came back. He could never get that the high, high exactly, again. Yeah. You know mm. what I mean? He tried other things. I think he tried to get a band together and that. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. So anyway, there was, there was loads of monkeys that were signed up to this NASA program. And it was 1961 when this little monkey called Ham, that was his name, as well as him, there was one called Enos. So anyway, what I found out about it since then... Um, Am went up there, did the left-right business with the bananas. Enos, um, they didn't put as much work into the trip when, when he went up there. And something went wrong with the machinery. And do you know how you get a banana for the left button and all that? Mm. It's official it, now. <laughs> yeah. There's two buttons in this spaceship. Banana dispenser and everything else. The right button is everything else. <laughs> but, but it worked the other way. The machinery went weird. Oh, no, really? So, so it meant that the right button would give him a banana. Right. The left button did everything else. Oh, no. How does so, that, what, how does so what have been taught... Uh, what, oh, this is the problem with, with electronics, isn't it? Well, no, I don't think that that is. Is. Apparently, this is the problem. But the good... Th- I mean, honestly, look it up if you want. This is all online, by the So way. what happened when it all went haywire? What, what occurred? Well, luckily, Carl, Carl, this is online, and it's bollocks. Luckily, um, Enos, because he'd, he'd, he'd done a few trips... <laughs> right, he's so he was like, well, I know this isn't right. <laughs> As much as I love bananas, <laughs> this isn't right. <laughs> so, I was just thinking, of course it was. So anyway, so he came back. They, they were all like over the moon with him. He said, I mean? can't work with these conditions. Good mission and everything. Well done on working it out. He sorted all that out. Um, it moved on a few years. Armstrong's gone up there. Buzz and that other fella. They've been up there. The, the monkeys aren't needed anymore. Mm. But they were like, we've got all these monkeys who have done NASA training. Mm. What are we going to do with them all? Mm. And they mm. had to raise... Fourteen million pounds mm. to make him like a, a like an old sort of chimp tome for retired <laughs> As- chimp- retired NASA trained monkeys chimpanots chimpanots something they've got in there is like a little museum right of all the missions and that that they've been on so they can sort of even though they're not going to be going into space again they can almost relive it and reminisce mm-hmm. of the times that they've had. And They're reminiscing with each other, are they? Just, just sort of going, oh, like remember that time when it all went wrong, the button became the left when it should have yeah. been the right and all the rest of yeah. it. They just, you know, sort talking of about old times, talking yeah. about old times and what have you, like old people like to do. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, and yeah, that's it. So if you want... Perhaps we should retire Monkey News to that same space. That's what I mean. So, you know, I hope you've enjoyed the Monkey News and that. That was the, the last one. Look after the monkeys. Uh, do your bit. Because they've done their bit. Uh, that's it, yeah. But just because I'm not giving the news... Look it up. Do you know what I mean? It's all out there. Don't be ignorant. <laughs> Wise words. I had a late night last night because I stayed up to watch a programme about monkeys. <laughs> it's already good. <laughs> of course it is. It's already good. Now, before I read on, I mean, is this not some kind of monkey news? Is this not a late return to monkey news? Uh, well, it's not. It's not that good. Is it not? Whereas the other monkey news is... Oh, chimpanzee, that's more shit! This is what he says. This is what he gleaned from the programme about monkeys. It sat on a bridge and wanted stuff off people to walk over the bridge. What? So it was acting as some kind of toll booth. This was is it? ridiculous. No, it was a bridge in in like the jungle. 
Oh, shut the fuck up. And it's a monkey that's sat on a bridge and um, a lot of tourists go through the area... No, it's to, a monkey who realised that, that if he sits there, it gets stuff because it looked like it's a cute little chimp begging. No, but every time. Yeah, because you give a monkey... You give it, oh, I'm as bad as him now. If you give a chimpanzee uh, a banana uh, and he starts realising that humans have things to give. Yeah, but it's all Squirrels sorts learn that. If you don't go, oh, you wouldn't say, oh, went to the park, the squirrel's waiting at the gate. You have, you have to give him a toll to go in. They don't, they don't do anything to give him nuts. They come up to you every time. You, you fucking idiot. Went to bed after watching it and fell asleep thinking about it on the bridge right now. It's a bit bad, really, because the monkey should work harder for its food. It made me remember the slug I saw yesterday that was eating bird poo. <laughs> Nobody would ever help a slug with food like they do with ducks and monkeys. A slug's life is pretty bad. The only time they come out of their den is when it's raining. Den. So, so even their days out are depressing. It is. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No. It is like... It's a horrible thing to be, isn't it? <laughs> a slug. <laughs> Talking about what is it like to be a slug? No, just because like the monkey, even though it's been quite aggressive, everyone was like, "Oh, give it some water." And it was it was well like kitted out. It had like you know chocolate bars, bottled water, some like you know fizzy stuff, and all that. An iPod. It was listening to monkey news. It could have had one if it wanted one. It was getting away with murder on that bridge, and that's just because it was furry. Yeah, if that was like a blob, like a slug. There's no way people would be that friendly towards it, and it just annoys me how you get this pecking order for, like, no matter what creature you are, favouritism. And that slug was only eating that bird poo because it wasn't being offered stuff. If it was offered toffees or whatever. <laughs> well, it's just sad, isn't it? It's, it's come to that. That's what its life has come to. <laughs> As mollusk like goes down on its fucking yeah, luck. It didn't live in a big country house no, and his wife left it, the kids went and started hitting the ball. And I kind of thought, and look, they do only come out in the rain and it's depressing and it'll probably get killed in a bit. And that was its last meal. I just. <laughs> last meal? People but it wouldn't don't prefer care. steak and chips, Carl. It no, doesn't leaf, have. It must like a leaf or a. You know, at the end of the day, it's an insect. They love it. It's not an insect. Well, it's part of that gang. It's part of that. <laughs> No, it's part of they that. They hang out together. They it's hang out not. together. No, Why do you think it's part of that game? Because it, it knocks about in the woods in the same place as a spider does. But all I'm, uh, what I'm saying is they, they're eating boring stuff because that is what's It's in not their boring area. stuff to them. They're not, I have no opinion of it at all. They take in sustenance. No, but where you are is what you eat. When I'm in London, I'll have beans on toast for lunch. On holiday, what? Tapas? Go on, I'll have a bit. <laughs> So it's whatever you eat, what's in that area. But man is nature. Don't forget that we are, we're an animal. We're a brilliant ape. We're actually 98.6% genetically identical to a chimpanzee, Carl. Think of that. We only differ on 1.4% of well, our that, genetic that, that, makeup. That must be the arse. <laughs> Cos that's a lot different. <laughs> Animal rights is, uh, is a hot topic. It's a big issue. What rights should they have? We test drugs on animals and uh, we're basically saying if they die, they die. We'll learn something from them. People do make distinctions between animals' rights. They, they know that it's probably more acceptable to kill an ant uh, than... Uh, Punch a cow. Yeah, exactly. I told you, didn't I, about me, my dad's mate who had, a, who had a monkey and he had to thump it. What? <laughs> what one, well, there's two things there. One, why did he have a monkey? Two, what sort of discipline is thumping a monkey? What was the monkey doing? He kept... He was annoying his wife a lot and sort of, you know, pinching her ass and stuff like that. Right, no, right. that's Wait, not we, true. We've it's never heard this before. How have we had all these years no, of sure monkeys and we've never heard this ages before? Ago. Your dad had a mate who had a monkey? Yeah, I'm sure I told you. That, well, why did he have a monkey? Just for a laugh? Well, it was back in the day when you, people did. They all had, like, <laughs> odd in, sort of pets and that, didn't they? In, like... About 68. Oh, in 1968, when, oh, when everyone had a monkey. We had to thump it. Now, the weird thing is... Now, that's weird enough. Is this the... This is all the story? This is the entire story? No. You've got all the information you've got is he had a monkey and he had to thump it? Yeah, my dad told me about it. When he found out that I, I was into monkeys, he said, oh, Benny thumped one. <laughs> and, uh <laughs> Benny thumped right. Oh, my son's into natural history, particularly uh, Simeon variety. Um, I've got an interesting fact for you, Carl. Sit down. What is it, Peter? Um... Benny thumped one. But, Brilliant. But, but what was interesting is the way that 
people are thumping other people all the time. No one bats an eyelid. Thump a monkey. People go, you thumped a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they do. They do yeah. go, you thumped a monkey. So that's what's weird, isn't it? But this gym doesn't want to be caged and kept in a fucking council house in Manchester. No, it, was, it was quite happy. And if it, it wants to live happy. like a human... I mean, in the 70s... You know, there were all, all the teabag adverts and all that, and they were loving that. No, they and weren't people loving interfere. it. people People go, oh, that's unfair. Now they, they're in, like, a cage in a zoo. You're going, they, it was better when I was pushing a piano up a stairs. They weren't really... They weren't really... They weren't w- actual delivery, man. They weren't really sitting down and having a cup of tea. Well, it wasn't a documentary. <laughs> a, a, a week in the life of the monkey delivery, oh, man. I love that. Chimps in a zoo now going, OK, now, we, at, least we were, at least we were free. Remember when we used to drive a van? And, we were, and we were on 58 quid a week. Yeah. They're not meant to be kept in a house in Manchester. Cruel to keep a person in a house in Manchester, so it's fucking cruel to keep a monkey. 